motherfucker, get this gate off of me. Get your hand out of there, Cuyo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grilling with the Guru. I got Kurt Guillory right here, our co-host. I'm Keith Guillory, they call me T. Gid. And Kurt, what are we cooking today? Well, if you didn't figure it out yet, we're doing alligator. Alligator what? Sauce alligator sauce pecan. Now, how does that, what that means? Sauce pecan. Pecan stick. Sharp. Sharp. Tomato uh, based sauce. Right. We're going to do a couple little different things for y'all. Uh, we're cooking everything on the grill, including the rice. Everything. Rice, cream, cream spinach. spinach. Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. It's going to yeah. be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. So, look, y'all stick around. Y'all don't go nowhere. We'll be right back getting everything ready for the show. Welcome back to Grilling with the Guru. I'm Kurt. This is Keith. Yep. We making alligator. Sauce pecan. Sauce pecan. Traditional Cajun dish, tomato sauce base, onions, bell pepper. We're gonna have some cream spinach. We're gonna cook the rice on the grill. On the grill. I can cook better rice on the grill than I can in a rice cooker. We don't need hikachi. No. And then the cream spinach. Cream spinach is gonna be incredible. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little different. We're gonna use the, the smoke flavor from the grill for our alligator. Right. The coals are burning, we just as soon use the flavor. So we're gonna open grill them. We're gonna open grill them just to mark them and introduce some flavor. Not at a high, high temperature, like oh, 350, no. like barbecue. Like barbecue. Like you're doing some chicken. And then we're gonna then we're gonna introduce it into the sauce. You know they say the, the alligator, it kinda tastes like chicken. Nah. Nah. <laughs> tastes like alligator. <laughs> tastes like alligator. So yeah, we, but the types of alligator meat we got right here is what? Well, we have some leg meat. Right. Like that. We got some legs. And then we have what they call tenderloin or back or the back strap or the filet. The filet. Right. Along the back. Okay. And, and a little wanna, bit more tender. I want to give some props out, get that out of the way for Andre. He let us borrow those two beautiful alligator heads, you know. <laughs> and uh the, uh, probably the only place in Lafayette that I know you can get alligator meat is uh, Jean Francois or Chez Francois. Chez Chez Francois. Chez Francois. Excuse me, right no. there off the uh, Evangeline Thruway. Yep. Yep. Right there, just by the tracks. All right. So look, we're gonna put this on. Yeah. Let's let's this start that right now. Alone. So we got the fire going pretty the, pretty. My lord. The fire's pretty. It. Yep. Let's get it low. Okay. Now one of the things we're gonna do with our with our one of the biggest problems with sauce pecan we find. Keith, is that when people make a sauce pecan, it's, it's sharp, it's, it's, it stings, there's too much acid in the tomato. Right. So we're going to use a little bit of roux. I saw you had that roux up on the, it's gonna the table us, over there. It's going to balance the flavor of the acidity in the, in the tomato sauce. It's going to give us good color, and it's going to put some body in our, uh, in our sauce pecan. Now, this dish generally takes about how long? Well, this is going to be about an hour to hour and a half, okay? okay. This is not a fast, it's a stew, okay? We're going, right. to, we're going to stew this down low and slow. Right. Uh, we're going to take our time. This is, if you, if this, you're doing this in a hurry, this ain't the dish for you. Now, I know my dad at the camp, they, they've done like, you know, catfish, sauce pecan, or, yep. uh, you know, some, uh, some grouper or some, you know, other mm -hmm. types of fish. I've never had alligator sauce pecan. Well, I've had it fried. Yeah. You know, I've had it in different ways, uh, but I've never had it in sauce pecan, so I'm really excited about this. Well, hey, alligator is going to lend itself well because it's very, even though it's an aquatic animal, it's very hardy, okay? The meats, the, especially the leg meat, is going to be tough. Low fat. Low fat, uh, high, high flavor, protein. high protein, and a lot of, uh, a lot of muscle. Right. Okay. And this is animal muscle, not fish muscle. There's a difference between the two. Fish muscle breaks down very easily because the way it's designed. Animal muscle is nothing but a string, but a bunch of fibers bound together by tendons. Right. So uh, this is actually a perfect dish to use alligator. And the bone in is actually good because that's going to give you kind of like a stock almost, right? That's right. You need flavor. Anytime you cook with bones, you do it. Right. Okay. Right. Now the the cream spinach you're going to be doing is, uh, what are we talking about? We got baby leaf spinach. We got baby leaf spinach. All we're going to do is saute up some onions and bell pepper, a little bit of butter, okay? We're going to add our spinach, and of course the spinach is going to reduce down a lot. Nothing, right. To nothing. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of cream, season it up, some scallions at the end. A little salt delicious. and pepper. Salt and pepper. It's going, oh, to, be, yeah. it's going is, to be great. It's going to be good, guys. Y'all don't miss this. Okay, look, we're going to throw it to break. But when y'all come back, we're going to have the, the alligator flipped over with some pretty lines on it. And we're going to start on the cream spinach. So we'll be right back. Stick around. Whew. Kurt, you're welcome back, y'all. But Kurt, it's smelling good. 
That's yeah, smelling good. Oh man, that alligator is looking Let's pretty good. Let's take a pretty. look at it. All right. So yeah, well, you flipped it one time. Yeah. Now we put the, the little fillets off towards not directly over the fire. The, the thicker meat, we kind of put it right over the cup pretty that is. And that's a uh, lump charcoal we're cooking with. So it's, it's got a good smoky flavor. It's oak and hickory. Why do you use lump charcoal? charcoal? Well, there's no chemicals, you know. I mean, uh, it's all natural wood. When you buy lump charcoal, it's, it's gonna be a blend of 80% oak, most of the time 20% hickory. This is good ones. It's actually 90% oak, 5% pecan, 5% hickory. It's a great competition smoking, you know, base fuel. If you wanted to jack it up a little bit, you put a little peach wood, a little cherry wood, give it a little bit more oomph. You know? Right, right. But, uh, you know, regular charcoal charcoal, if ever you even light it naturally and you eat your chicken or whatever, and after about an hour you belch and you kind of taste like the chemicals, because they got chemicals in the briquettes. In the briquettes. Even if you light it with no lighter fluid. Yeah. No they good. We don't want that. nitrate and all kind of nasty stuff. So yeah, use the natural stuff. Your, your food is going to taste a lot better. So this is looking good. We're going to take this off. Let's take them off because they're well marked. We got some smoke flavor in them. And we're going to start making our sauce. And we're going to get right into our cream spinach also. OK, good deal. So yeah, we're going to take this off. I guess it's falling apart already. And we're going to put the big skillet that we're going to use for the cream spinach and the big the big uh, sauce pecan cast iron pot. We're going to have there. to maneuver them a little bit, but we got enough room. Oh, yeah. We Cajun got grills, plenty of room to cook on. We're going to have two big pots on here. So we're going to start off in the, with the sauce pecan, a little oil. A little bit of oil, and then we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and saute our vegetables. We've got our onions and bell peppers. We're going to saute those. Then we're going to start to build our sauce with our tomato sauce and our roux. And, uh, and then we're going to add our alligator back in, and then we're going to start seasoning and tasting. All right. Just about got him all. So I tell you what, Troy, Troy, Troy Landry? Troy Landry. He can catch him, but we can cook them. We em. can cook them. I'm sure you can cook them, too. Cook I'd em. like to meet that guy. You ever met any of them characters? I've never met them. Me neither. All right, so we're going to put the pots on it. Look at that. That's a big grill where you can kind of do that, huh? Big, big. OK, so you're going to put a little oil in the bottom of the sauce pecan yeah. pot. And we're going to jack up the heat a little bit, because we can. And then you just come back and put this right. Look at that. How pretty. Beautiful. It smells better. Mm. <laughs> all right. Smell the vision. So we're just going to dump this in here, get all the juice. There we go. And then uh, what goes next? Add our oh, onions. the veggies. The vegetables. Onions and bell pepper. Yes, sir. Now, you cook this a lot at your house? I mean, this is kind of a special dish? Not alligator, uh, not too much, but. Uh, in, in Grand Prairie, Louisiana, there's a man resides, I call him dad. He make the best hen sauce pecan you ever wrapped your lips around. Yeah? I guarantee you. Wow. So look at that. Saute the onions down. Now, for TV, we're going to speed it up a little bit, but you want to kind of saute that down till it gets a little limp. Yeah, till the, the onions get a little translucent and the bell pepper start to wilt a little bit. Okay. But, uh, but we're good right there. No yeah. problems. OK, now for the spinach, what we're going to do? For the spinach, we're going to do, the, we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to add a little bit of oil. Oh yeah, like that. And then the spinach goes right in there. The spinach is gonna go right in there. And then, well, no, actually, I'm sorry. We have a little bit of tasso. Tasso, we're gonna fry down the tasso. We're gonna put some tasso on going. there, get us some flavor. Yeah. I got a special little spatula, a little working tool for you. Look, Look at, at that. that. Is that cool? Look at that. That's shy, baby. Because, uh, I have a good friend of mine, Dirk Fondo, we would tailgate, uh, we'd, we'd stir the pots with like these stainless steel spoons, and boy, that's all you'd hear would be. Yeah, oh, yeah. And look, you could see him in the background going. <laughs> he get the like, quiz. Like, like, I said, man, what's wrong with you? He said, man, I can hear my grandmother. Measure on me. You're not <laughs> supposed to use steel on us, cast iron pot. You're supposed to use a wooden spoon. And that's how we got our, our crew name, Jomé de la Vie. Never in my life. Never in my life. It just so happened, just like that. So this is going to saute down. This is going to fry. This is going to cook down. It's already starting right here. We're going right. to start to build our sauce. We're going to jack it up. That's a fire. And then we still have to cook our rice. We're going to cook some rice. Cook some rice. See, we're going to basically take the spinach off, and then we're going to cook our rice, and then if we need to jack up the heat or warm up the spinach again, we'll come back and put it back yeah, on. Yeah, it's no problem. I mean, yeah, actually, we'll take the rice off. The spinach will do just fine, uh, even at room temperature. So okay. we're OK with that. OK. 
So you, you think we, we're good for the uh, spinach? Yeah, let's go ahead and add the spinach right now. Okay, so let's throw the spinach in, and after that, we'll stir that in, we'll throw it to break. And we'll come check the progress in a little bit. Oh, that's right. That show is pretty. And that's gonna cook down to almost nothing. Right, right. But that's okay. Yeah. That nothing's still gonna be something. That's right. <laughs> All right, you guys, but look, y'all don't go nowhere. We're gonna throw it to break, and uh, when y'all come back, y'all see the next step in this progression of alligator sauce pecan and cream spinach. Don't go nowhere. You were salting the rice? You saw that? How, how I you, washed the rice too. You washed it? You know how hard it is to scrub every little kernel like Take that? Take some time. What? Magic of TV, we got it all done. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Grilling with the guru. Ooh, smells good. Smells good. Sauce pecan. Let's take come, a look. Y'all come check this out. Look at that spinach. Look Ooh. what we got. Man, that's beautiful. We got beautiful. cream spinach. All we did was fry down a little bit of tasso, uh, a little bit of oil. Yeah. And um, the, we we put our spinach in and wilted. Okay. So now we're gonna. Uh, I put about two tablespoons of butter. Not much. Right. Cream. For this amount of spinach, which was uh, a large container, about uh, 16 ounces. Uh, we're gonna use about two cups of cream. Two not, cups of cream. Not that much. Right. A cup and a half, two cups. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. And, it, and all that color from the tasso is actually changing the color of the cream. So the cream is going to go from a white to kind of like a, 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 a light brown color. That's right. It's going to start to transform. And then you had some of the caramelization at the bottom mm -hmm. from the tasso and from the spinach. Mm -hmm. And then, you've you been drinking behind my back, man? What no, you but got? I'm about to. Well, at least the alligator is. You know what my brother-in-law calls that? What's that? A merlot. A merlot. I said, that's not a merlot. You don't say home depot. It's Home Depot. <laughs> it's a Merlot. Okay, we added some red wine to the alligator. Why did we do that? Why because, did we do that? Because I like to cook with wine. Well. You can do whatever you want to do with your sauce pecan. That's fine. And my dad and grandpa right now say, don't put wine in there. Right. It's okay. And then you got some on there like, man, my kids can't eat that now because they're going to be walking around. Hey, nah, mom, guys, no right. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, all the alcohol cooks out. Most you're of you're doing it for flavor. You're just doing it for the flavor. Everything right. tastes better with a little bit and with a little bit of wine in it. Yeah. So uh, if you want to use wine like I do, use wine. If right. you don't want to use wine, don't. Don't use wine. But I like it. I think it gives a really good flavor. It's going to give it some good color. A little fruit. A little flavor. fruit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, alcohol is always a flavor enhancer. And then we're going to put us. Oh, you got the roux. The rooks. The rooks. <laughs> the rooks. The rooks. That's what they call that? That's what, that's if, what some if people from call outside it. Southern Louisiana, they call it rooks? We call it rooks. About a tablespoon. Yep, yep. We don't want much. Just to give it flavor? Just to give it and flavor and to, body. Yeah, and to take the bite out of the gonna tomato. Take, yeah, it's going to take some of the acidity off of that tomato so it's not so uh, it's not so harsh, sharp. so sharp, you know? Not so piquant. Not so piquant. They yeah, we stick. want a piquant, but not too piquant. We don't, we don't want the stickers too bad. Yeah, and I got the rice already, so after a second, we're going to take the smothered the cream spinach off. Well, we can do that right now because it's I got ready. my glove. All, all we got to do. Got my little oven mitt right here. Like that. Look, we're gonna make some room. We're gonna take that off and then put the rice on. I'm gonna give it one last little stir right here. Oh, look at it thickening up. Pretty. Now, you don't wanna go too long, especially with the bottom like that, because the cream's gonna end up breaking on you. Okay, we don't wanna break so, the cream. We're good like that. All right. So, let me come with this over here. Like that. Boom. Like that. I'm gonna cover my rice. Cause that's how I roll, and it's just a simple. You, I kind of, I don't measure the water versus how much rice. I just know that I want about a half inch, maybe three eighths of an inch of water over the rice, and then I salted it just a little bit, just so it's not too bland. But some people say, uh, like that, right to the crease, to the to the first crease. Some people's fingers are bigger than others, though. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, I think it depends too how much, how many, uh, how many holes you poke in the foil because that's how much steam you're gonna be letting out. So I normally do like a little five: one, two, three, four, five. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it on the grill with them hot coals. We're gonna jack it up just a little bit, just to, just like a rice cooker, just to get it kind of boiling or, or you know rolling a little bit. Then we're gonna lower it. And this so, thing's gonna kind of mound over. It's just gonna steam out. So we're gonna bring we're gonna bring it up to get the temperature going, and exactly. then we're gonna bring it back and down, lower and, let down. It, and let it do what it's gonna. And let it simmer. How long that's gonna take? I don't know, uh, Kurt. Probably about five minutes. 
Maybe. To cook the rice? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. It ain't good because you're cooking it like in an oven. It's not just cooking from the bottom up. You're cooking in all directions. You'll see. All right. You're looking at me like I'm crazy, but uh, hey, uh, maybe I am. That's what they mean by minute rice? <laughs> Five minute rice. <laughs> Five minute rice. Yeah, like like my cousin Vinny did. What self-respecting man cooks <laughs> instant grits? We don't cook instant rice over here, Percy Gidget. All right, all right. We're, gonna, we're gonna put this. Our first layer of seasoning. Oh, look how pretty. You mind if I kind of just kind of no, do it like that? Go ahead. It's gonna come along. It is, is that coming salt, along. Please, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now, mm. we didn't put any garlic. I mean, you could probably... You could put garlic. Alligators are seafood. Anytime you use garlic with a seafood, you run the risk of the garlic taking over. Right. Would it? I don't know. Right. Why? If, if you like garlic a lot, try it. Try it. If you don't, don't. That's that's what's good about barbecue. Remember seasoning, it's easier to add than take out. Right. So a little bit at a time, we build our seasoning and in taste layers. as you go. Taste as you go. That's what I just did. It tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> yeah. So we're almost there. We're almost there. Spinach is going to be creaming up right there. Spinach is going to be good. We're actually going to season this right now. And we're going to have to, I'm afraid we're going to have to taste it. We got to taste it. I'm afraid so. You put some uh, cracked black pepper on there? I will. And then actually, that's all you need. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. You don't need any. Uh, it's left-handed. It's it's left-handed monkey wrench. Ain't that crazy? I never seen that before. For something as simple as cream spinach, salt and black pepper is all you really need. Yeah. And I think I just so might have to got some utensils down here. Well, this yeah, is live no, TV. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, I got it. I always got the, I, got, I travel with, with everything I need. You call that a prepared man. Prepared, yeah. All it's right, let's look. Up. Bam! All right, you ready? Let's see. Get a little tasso, you got a little tasso? Mm. Yeah, I got some. Oh, it right. smells good. I don't know if it is good. It's good. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. If you don't want yours, I'm gonna take it. You know, when I was a kid, you could have promised me a brand new pickup truck. I wouldn't eat spinach now. Can't get enough. I don't know of it. what it is. I could eat just that. No, no. And more of it. Yeah. And not just with the cream. I mean, I could eat just steamed blanched spinach. Oh, yeah. I could eat it raw in a salad. I just love it. Absolutely. Okay. So look, I think we're good. You ready to throw it the break? Let's go. When All right. We come back. We're gonna go back to the grill. We're gonna check on the progress of our rice. We're gonna check on the progress. We're gonna have to taste our sauce. Pico. Pico. And uh, then we're going to be ready to plate up, and I'm afraid it's going to be time to eat. It's going to be awesome. Allons manger. Allons manger. <laughs> you don't go nowhere. Come back. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, guys. Kurt. Boom. Oh, look at that. Man, huh? all on the Cajun grill. All on the Cajun grill. We're in sauce peak on heaven right here. Man, we've been sampling y'all uh, between the cream spinach and the, the meat, the alligator meat in that sauce peak on. The rice came out perfect. I mean, look at that. I can't, I can't cook it in a rice cooker better than that. So yeah, so, okay, let's, let's recap. Let's recap a little bit. All right. Cream spinach, what did we put in that again? Cream spinach was simple. We did, uh, we sauteed down uh, some tasso. Tasso, we had a little oil in there. A little oil in the bottom of the pan. Right. Okay. And then we uh, added the spinach. We added our spinach. It cooked right down for us. Right. When it had wilted, added we added our, our cream, little about little. a half a cup of cream. Right. We reduced that by a little bit, not too much. We don't want it to break. And all we seasoned it with was salt. Salt and black pepper. And a little and cracked fresh, black fresh, pepper. Fresh cracked black pepper. Yep. So that is a great dish by itself. And we have some studio guests over there, and she don't eat vegetables. She, I had to like beat her off of this pot, y'all. We weren't gonna have enough. We were, yeah, we weren't gonna, we gonna have nothing to show y'all, so <laughs> it's that good. And then the star, the, the star, sauce picon. Sauce picon. Okay, traditional Cajun dish, not that hard. And again, we were talking off camera, because she, you know, she, <laughs> she, she's like, oh, okay, I, I don't do alligator. Well, she not only did the alligator, she loved the alligator, but I told well, you told her and I told her, you can mix it up with different kind of meats, right? Put whatever you want in. You know, you can do pork, you said meatballs. Meatballs, chicken. Chicken, your dad does a, a meat hen. Hen. Yeah. Yeah. Best. So, 
but it's the uh, your daddy don't use the wine, but you did, and but you I can did. smell it, and you, you can, can taste, taste it. it. It's and you, incredible. And you can do whatever y'all want to do. Right, and so. that's what's great about cooking. Isn't it like painting a picture? Everybody has their own taste buds, like a fingerprint. Yep. And and everybody's different. So if you like it, chances are some other people are gonna like it. Years ago, when I was cooking in a professional kitchen, uh, they recommended we buy this uh, cookbook by a, a guy called uh, Escoffier, right? He's uh, supposed to be the father of French cooking. It's a big old. He lives in uh, Maurice. He's just the other side. <laughs> just the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost in Nunez. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you open it up, it, and it's cook there's no amounts. All there is is ingredients. <laughs> How much you put? He said, how much you want to put? I said, well, I don't know. That's why I'm looking in the book. Right. And but we've been tasting as we've gone. You know I mean, like the butt rub you season the alligator meat with. That's right. We started with a little bit, and you tasted it a little weak, so we added a little bit more, and you, the good cook you going to taste a little bit. You, you build, you build, you, you build. build. You right. can't, it's easier to add than to take out. We said that all the time. And then we plated it. We plated it. Put a little onion tops on top. Which is going to be great, because they're going to wilt as it steams. And we have our beautiful cream spinach with our tasso, the cream turned that color you was talking about, like off-white, that beige mm -hmm, color. Mm -hmm. It's real rich, it's pretty. We have our fluffy white rice, that incredible sauce, that sauce picone we could put on a car tire if we wanted to, and, and, and it'd be and, good. And I mean, we normally speed up things, but this is real time. So that sauce picone from beginning to end, we ain't talking but maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. At the very most. At, at the, the very, very most. most I, it, was, it was probably closer to an hour. Uh, and we did it low and slow. We took our time uh, and, and we washed it and it turned. And this is the color we was talking about. This rust, this this dark all, uh, red color, uh, not the bright tomato sauce red. Right. And and I think that the roux uh, kind of gave it that little, it broke up the red a little bit. It, bre it breaks up the red. It gives the sauce body. Yeah. See that? How thick that is. Look at that. Oh that's a goodness. that's a combination of, of the little bit of roux, and we only used this spoon. It was just a tablespoon. Right. We used a little bit of roux, and the rest was reduction, and it gave us this beautiful color and this, this richness. You can see the vegetables in there. The meat is falling off the bone. All right. Oh, it's time to eat. All right, get it's your time plate. to eat. Let's I'm, plate you up, brother. <laughs> We're going to get you a little rice Some on there. Rice. Uh-huh. A little bit more rice. And then a little bit more rice, but you curd. Okay. Like that. Come sa. Mm hmm And we're going to get some sauce. The smell. Every time we walk out of here and we walk back in to shoot another segment, it smells like a fancy restaurant. <laughs> I love it. We not fancy, though. But no, we're not fancy. We, we easy going. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Look at the color. It's coating it rice just like we want. I'm going to get me a little bit of some leg meat right here. Like that. Then while I'm going to give you some of this cream spinach. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. More? A little bit. There we go. All right. Ooh. And get your onion Look, tops. I got me some onion tops. All right, guys. All right. That's a. Uh, here we go. A little bon appetit. Let's do a little spike of the spring. There you go. All right, what you doing first? Uh, I'm going right in for the rice. Me too, bro. Oh, yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's... It's not mm. good a little bit. Oh. It's good a lot. Oh. Cream spin. Mm. Mm. Amazing. This matches so well. I'm going to go get me... I'm going to get the bone. Get you some. That's how tender it is. Tastes like chicken? Tastes like chicken. No, it tastes like alligator. Tastes like alligator. Soft pico. Kurt. Mm. We got to go. We got to go, man. Let's let these people go. Y'all try this recipe. It's going to be on our website. You go to kdcg.com or persegator.com and check out your blog. What's your blog? Check out my blog, acadianalifestyles.com and examiner.com. I have a bunch of recipes on there. And this uh, ep this uh, edition, the December edition of the K Down Lifestyle, I have my Christmas dinner special in there, so please pick that up. Yeah, so thank y'all for watching, and we'll see you next time on Grilly with the Guru.